Well, hello and welcome to the further adventures of a smart. Um, don't you can hear it's hailing. Winter is refusing to do one, which is great because I've got two convertibles. They're going to be staying in here for the considerable, considerable rather, by the sound of things. Uh, poor Giselle uh, is currently out here in the hail. Uh, quite exciting because we've arranged insurance for Miss Hubnut to drive Giselle tomorrow. Let's hope the weather is rather better. But uh, we are about important battery business today. Uh, in this package right here, uh, I have a brand new battery, an 012 battery. I believe an 063 can fit a smart. And uh, it's all packed up in there ready. Uh, from Tainer Batteries, who are based up in North Wales. Uh, they've supplied many batteries to me over the years. Uh, so they were kind enough to send this one out uh, thank you very much, Tainer. Let's um, plug it in, and I want to see if she'll start. Well, it was a bit of a struggle in the dark. You can't really see anything in this gloomy footwell, but uh, the battery is in and connected, which is why our interior light is on. There is also one up on the roll bar here. So we've definitely got power. Um, let's just see about putting the key in. We shall do the unlock thing. I want to remember where the button is. There we go. Pop the key in and fingers crossed she actually wants to fire up. That starter motor is not happy but nonetheless start up she has. Now I'm just going to roll Ellie forward because the one thing I haven't done I'm going to wipe a test. Oh, there we go. As usual, new wiper blades needed. But still, I quite like that pattern, you know. Oh yeah, there's a bad electrical smell coming here from the back. So I think that starter motor is not very happy. Uh, but I'll roll Ellie for because I haven't actually driven the Smart at all yet. Right, here we go then. Foot on the brake. Handbrake off, across, into first, we're into first. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. That's definitely um, clutch release. Uh, into reverse. Oh yes. That is very, very pleasing. That may not feel like we've moved far. But uh, yeah, it's point of principle, that's quite useful. Headlights, yeah, we've got the headlights, indicators. Everything should work, it's just been for an MOT. Let's make use of that one. Showing off my frameless doors. Uh, yeah, I, don't th I think it's a fairly soft. Someone was saying I was knackering everything up by opening the door without electric, but I don't think it's got drop down doors. But yeah, we've got. Lights working variously at the back. Uh, we won't run her too long because there is no water pump because we took the uh, auxiliary belt off. Although the coolant isn't even up to temperature yet. That will be a block sensor. Uh, oh, should we do it? Oh yeah. Guess and that hasn't been back for a while. And importantly, it does appear to close again. Lovely. Right, that'll do little car. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, there we go. We've got one blob coming up. Don't seem to have any optional extra rev counter, unfortunately. We'll turn you off and we'll say thank you, little car. So, yeah, I've, I've got the hatch popped at the moment just to try and um, ventilate a bit because it was so damp in here. This was absolutely sodden and still is. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm right next to there, so I might have to drop her down again when I leave. But whenever I'm up here, I'm trying to um, air her out as best we can. But, yeah, that's... Um, Interesting times. Uh, we've definitely got power. I'll be disconnecting the battery before I leave. Uh, 
and we've definitely got drive. So she does actually move back and forth and we've conducted a windscreen wiper test. That's all good. We've still got the towing eye in. Obviously we don't need that anymore. But yeah, next steps. Uh, I haven't got time tonight, unfortunately. It's already getting dark, but uh, I'm gonna try and get a ring spanner on the alternator and see if we can actually get that thing to uh, start rotating. And uh, I've ordered a new belt as well. So um, can't do a fat lot more really until we get her mechanically well again. But uh, promising, promising baby steps. Well, that was the other day. Um, I, I'm now back again on the little smart, hoping for a bit more progress. And I think I've had some. I haven't been able to film it because there is just no space whatsoever. The wheel off got her up, jacked up, probably incorrectly. It's on the suspension arms. Here is the alternator. Uh, as you can see, it's had a darn good soaking in um, penetrating oil. Really, really hard to focus, hello, uh, to get a spanner in there. I'm just gonna try and demonstrate however, but it is just possible to get a 24 mil spanner up here and engage it. And as you can see, uh, we have actually managed to free it off. Uh, it didn't require too much effort. They don't seize that much, but it's just enough so the drive belt can't um, drive it. But uh, let me see if I can get you in. Can you see under there? Yeah, there you are. So we're looking at this and it does now go all the way around. There's a bit of a knotty point just there, but uh, yeah, it is actually starting to turn. Um, what they recommend is you use chain grease for bikes. And uh, I probably could do with some of that because I do have a bike that I very occasionally ride on. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, this is the next problem. This is an E10. Um, but uh, I wonder if I'm better off just trying to get a spanner on that lower mounting because uh, I've got to fit a new alternator belt now. I haven't actually got it with me today. By the way, look, we have a sump plug. Uh, that is um, a modification, I think. I don't think they had sump plugs from factory. Maybe the later ones did because people complained so bitterly. Uh, the filter lives in that little black housing. Uh, up there, where you can just see the drive shafts. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's a fair bit of rust though, isn't there? Uh, yeah, rusty old arms, but uh, someone else, I was watching someone else's tutorial on how to do this, and his smart had rusty arms as well. But, uh, yeah, how annoying. Sorry, it's jumping around trying to work out what to focus on, which dirty, filthy bit of um, everything. Uh, I think to get the alternator belt on, I think I have to... Um, take the air con belt off as well. I was watching a French video earlier and I, I think that is in the way. Uh, there's an adjuster, let's see if we can find it. Uh, yeah, there's the adjuster. Just see it there. So I need to get an Allen bolt on that. I think there's a big bolt and then an Allen to um, adjust the tension and we can get this belt off. I suppose it might be interesting to see whether the air conditioning actually works. So let's start the engine. Oh, we've got to do the um, unlock thing, haven't I? Deactivates the immobiliser also. That's starting much happier, isn't it? So if we pop some fan on. Oh, here the revs change. I don't know, we want incoming. Uh, where should I, where should I feel that? Where, what setting are we on? Oh, face fence. Well, you know what? That does feel chilled. My God, the aircon works. Yeah, so that proves it as well. You can hear the revs change. So you got one setting for a bit cool, and then if you want really cool. And you can hear it after fuel up to combat that. And then the revs drop because she's just warmed enough. Wow. Well, I've managed to get the um, bottom bolt turning. That seems to have slackened off. The top bolt, which you can barely get at, is proving a bit of a pain. I can't even get a spanner on it. I'm not entirely sure what size it is. So uh, I think we're going to call that quits for the night. But, you know, some progress is better than no progress. 
Okay, we are back for another day. First of all, I have my excellent, amazing Whiteland Restoration head torch. Uh, these are super bright and will enable me to actually see what the heck I'm doing and a little smart. And the other thing I have is a new V-belt. So Which you um, forgot the other day. I forgot the other day. <laughs> But as it happens, I couldn't get the top pivot bolt undone, which is a 16 mil I've now been able to confirm. So uh, just one bolt away from being able to get this belt fitted. Oh, you did not use that phrase. One bolt. What this is, is the one same bolt? as five minutes. Just, ju just one bolt. Also, yeah. do you ever think someone has an ulterior motive? Come to the unit with me with your very small hands. Yes. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can get this blooming bolt on. I need a 16 mil. Uh, socket of some sort. Can I get that cover out, I wonder? No. That's 600 million things in the way. Here we have a man approaching one bolt. One bolt, be undone in no time. Can what he forgets is beyond one bolt is one belt. Which is always fun. Because uh, there's too much stuff in the way, even for light. Light is just like, no, I have no place here. I right doubt this is the most awful car to work on. I've heard that from you before, love. Yeah, I thought it was a Rover 75, but actually a Rover 75 has got nothing on this. Really? Yeah. Shall we get another one and do the alternator again? I think it would actually be a joy after this. I don't think Ooh. it would be a joy. Is that it? No, no, that's not quite on. We're uh, trying to avoid move. here and what most of the... Um, Advice says is to drop the subframe, isn't it? So yeah, we're trying yeah. not to do that. And I appreciate if you drop the subframe, it's a lot easier, but then you've got to disconnect so much mm -hmm. like um, coolant and you can get longer bolts. Um, so you can drop it a bit. That is um, considered a special tool in smart circles is just longer bolts. You told oh. me last night that a sump plug was... Um, I think a 16 mil spanner. That this has a very now. stylish um, addition, you think? Yeah, someone has added a <laughs> sump plug. So you're, you can replace the sump on a smart, because otherwise you've got to use one of those Pella pumps and suck the oil out. But that means you can't get the sludgy bits uh, at the bottom out so easily. So, uh, yeah. Right, a uh, 16 mil spanner I need at this point. Where did you put it? I don't know. <laughs> You got it, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, I'm going to drop the phone. Don't drop the phone. No, that would be very bad. Don't drop the phone. Right, can I come in and undo the bolt now, please? Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate exactly where that is compared to the outside of the car. Yeah, and incidentally, the rear wheel arches should be black. I don't know why they are. But you can change everything, so I guess someone did. What's the objective here with the... I'm with going to put the, the head torch back on. It's not even the work. With the bolt? We're, we undo the top because on an alternator, you undo the adjuster, which I've done, and then you undo the pivot so it can move. So hopefully now this will move. Oh, hey! right. yes, yes, I've done that. Yes. Uh, next okay. challenge is we've got to get the belt off uh, the um, air conditioning because... That is now in the way the belt, our belt has to go behind and that what belt. What exciting news do we have about the air conditioning? It works. Oh my goodness. Tested it in, uh, earlier in this video. So you've got the new belt and you're yep. putting it in situ. Yep. How's that going? Really badly. That is loose. It's always a problem, you can never seem to get enough slack to get the belt back on. There we go, sitting nicely in the runners. Oh, that's actually good. I need to get some tension on the alternator so we can do it back up again. Mm -hmm. So the belt is on. Belt is on. Uh, I don't need a 15 mil spanner before even attempting that. I think mean, possibly a little pry bar. Car is live. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see how this goes. Yep. Mildly to moderately scared. Uh, just do the unlock. Oh, we've got the fan still on. We don't need that. Oh, no. That's still not very happy, is it? No, that's not happy. But 
that didn't feel catastrophic. Go on, turn it. Last try. Okay. No, no, no movement that time. Starter motor can't overcome that bloody um, alternator again. So what are you doing? Well, I've just rotated the crankshaft and the alternator by hand. And uh, I think this is the sticky spot on the alternator. So I'm hoping it'll catch before it hits that sticky spot again. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, then I think I need to hit the unlock again. There we go. That's not good, is it? It's just locking up again. So what does this mean? New alternator? I think it will free off, but we yeah. just got to get it running. And uh, at the moment we are struggling with that. And I can't find the socket I was using on the alternator to turn the alternator. So that's marvellous. So, uh, yeah. Going really well. Okay. That's not even trying anymore. No movement it? now. Nothing. No, I think the no. starter's no dead. Marvellous. Don't even know where the starter is. Well, I'm going to call that one there, folks. Uh, I had hoped to get this running and driving uh, for a video update for you. We did briefly have her driving without the alternator, um, but uh, we seem to have hit a bit of an impasse, and now she's not even making any attempt to start. So it looks like starter motor has probably coughed enough. It wasn't happy anyway, even when we chopped the belt off, uh, because I think it had been trying to turn an engine that had seized because of the alternator. Uh, so um, we briefly had um, a bit of engine running. Now we've got absolutely nothing. So if anything, we've gone backwards. That's Hubnut. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to park this project for now. I'm probably gonna have to drop the subframe out the back. I'm not looking forward to that, um, but that will be in a future video, I should think. Uh, but I need to park this project because other projects are begging for my time. The revival of the Matiz has stalled. I've got to get a new windscreen washer pump fitted and then we'll take her for an MOT. We shall keep our fingers crossed because we've got some adventures planned for this one. Well, jeepers! Storm Kathleen is still making her presence felt here in Wales. So yeah, there will be more on the Smart, maybe not for a while, but that, that's where we are. Since getting this car, um, we've gone backwards. Marvellous. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Not so smart. <laughs>